Prime Minister of Antigua and Barbuda, Dr. Jeremy Baldwin Spencer, called for assistance from developed countries to deal with the effects of five years old economic slowdown. In his address to the United Nations General Assembly, Prime Minister Spencer says that unfortunately, Antigua and Barbuda is among small and developing states that have yet to see significant improvements since the downturn started some five years ago. He says that while the government had tried to curtail the effects of the country's fragile economies, it must be said that the small Twin Island state needs greater cooperation, flexibility and inclusion from developed countries. GDP can no longer be the criterion used when accessing concessionary financing and other international financial reliefs. Instead, mechanisms should be put in place that take into consideration a host of other elements, including fragility of economies. Mr. President, we are still in a crisis, a crisis of confidence in global governance and the institutional capacity for managing the international financial systems, international trade, and international development policies. We are also living in the era of globalization, where cooperative collectives and not ambitious and selfish empires must be the order of the day in international financial governance. believes that a privileged few should not be allowed to make financial decisions that impact the socio-economic livelihood of millions without regard for the excluded majority. Spencer made clear that all countries should be equal on such matters. My government calls on the developed and OECD countries to guarantee that their response approach to international tax matters involves improved international cooperation on tax issues through comprehensive and supportive frameworks that ensure the involvement and equal treatment of small jurisdictions like Antigua and Barbuda without the nuances of inappropriate branding as tax havens.